Um, Jimmy Butler. Did you see Jimmy Butler with the clip on dreadlocks, dog? What's going on with this dude, bro? <laughs> like, just because you can fight, don't no, you do whatever you want, dog? Like, Yo, like he's kind of like this. We still ain't seen that on TV, so we don't know. Nah, we kind of did because he did the rollout video where he's doing this and it's showing the fucking like. I him. mean, you, you really can fight. Listen, man, Patrick Beverly gonna pull up. He go Patrick Beverly. You think Patrick Beverly next? Oh no, I'm saying like who's the first player to like pull them shits in a fight on the court? Yeah, that's disgusting. I ain't gonna lie, Jimmy Butler, you're disgusting, me, bro, for this shit, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. You gotta get it, bro. You gotta get it. You gotta get it. We ain't do this all night, but you're the first one to get it tonight. This is a sick Negro. Dr. Khalid Muhammad is just disgusted with you. What type of shit? Like, for you to even be in Miami doing some shit like that is just nasty, my nigga. Like, be a, don't be a pussy, nigga. Grow some wicks. What the fuck is you doing, bro? Like, listen, I'm gonna shoot you just, a little bail. I'm gonna shoot him a little bail. A little bail. Just a little bail. As a nigga that's in the growing his hair out as we speak, that shit can be impatient. That shit can be impatient. Nigga probably thought, yo, I ain't trying to cut this hair off. Anything naturally anymore. Everything gotta be microwaved and take just happens like that. No, it's not the point of that's not that's not the point of locks. He got a hair BBO. The point of growing locks is that journey with the the the, the relationship you grow with your hair because if you take the hair in it, the wisdom you grow with it, all of that, just just getting fake and just doing it, you just skipping the whole process and you just getting a look just to get the look, which is just some white people shit. You know what's funny? He got dreadlocks and he played for the Heat. Do you remember the last? Has I'm gonna say. I, I was about to. I, I was actually referencing uh, Mr. Heat himself, Brian Grant. So is he trying to even with down to the headband? He trying to go for the Brian Grant look. Look at that. That's Jimmy right there. Jimmy oh, just be cool. that's Jordan Grant. You said that's Brian Grant. Brian that's Jimmy. Grant. Irony, he played for the Heat too. That's sick. That is so sick. He trying to be Brian Grant. It's just nasty, bro. I really wish he to cut some shits. It was a bad idea. Please stop it. You're making the Heat look bad. How y'all gonna be the toughest team in the NBA with a nigga looking like that? Yeah, then he wasn't he the nigga that brought back those like ninja headbands too? Jimmy Watt. Do you mean the Skylar, the Skylar digging headbands? The ones that had the strap in the back? Yeah. He brought those into the NBA. Jimmy Wop. Wow. <laughs> like this would be wrong. Just, just keep an eye on that fella. Just keep an eye on that fella. But anyway. What you did there. Tinty ways. Anything else we got in the sports world, man? Uh, Zion Williamson. His uh, contract incentive uh, is a weight. It's a weigh-in. Um, for him, he has to get weighed. I think every. Let me double check. Uh, I believe it's every month, or every every two weeks. I believe. Oh, that's embarrassing. Yeah, that's some pop Warner shit. When you got the the one nigga that ain't really supposed to be playing. For yeah, you. he has a weight clause. He has to be at. He has to be below. 295. Jesus. Periodic wins. But is he even still going to be like healthy or is he just going to be skimming to get by? He's going to try to play because he has to build up that um, value to go to New York because he wants to go to New York. He wants to play with RJ. Man, if I'm New York, man. We'll take anybody. This is just some nasty work, how niggas are, what they doing now to get off team. Look what they do for views. You forget Zion was an all star. Yeah. Before was, John Morant. Years ago? That was three years ago, right? Oh, niggas was calling Jimmy Butler nah Morant. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had the nerve to get the highlight. 
They was calling him Nah Moran. <laughs> yo, nah, man. Jimmy, you wildin'. Uh, but nah, the Pelicans are wildin' too. Like, yo, you gonna treat this nigga like a kid. Nah, son. Just like, give him some discipline. Like, if you really want to play, then, you know what I'm saying, dedicate yourself to your body, bro. I mean, so what do you say about the Kyler Murray clause in football, Arizona Cardinals? Well, update it. They took it out. They took the um, oh. clause out. But the clause was, I think what the clause was, pretty much he had to do some studying. Four hours. Four hours of studying, bro. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. Nigga got mad. He called a press conference right in front of his house. Like, nah. It's not how it is. I mean, they. I think they pretty much don't want to have him looking like Jamarcus Russell out here. Especially when this is your like that was a bad look of how they did how they did Jamarcus Russell. Now at, at the end of the day, you don't want to do that for your franchise quarterback. Shout out to Pivot. You don't want to have him looking like dumb out here in these streets. You know what I'm he saying? He was on the pivot and he cleared a lot of that up. What did he say? He was going through a lot of trauma around that time. So I kind of gotta cut him some slack. Okay, so they just what they didn't give a fuck about what the brother was going through. No, nah, I mean that isn't that how these organizations are? They chew you up and spit you out. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. This shit is just looking real nasty, bro. Especially this how these. I mean, you already know how I feel about these owners and these black quarterbacks, but it's neither here nor there, man. They took it out. Hopefully, he can, you know, what I'm saying, prove him. That's the thing. He has to prove him wrong. He's Unless you get him well. a winning season, if you give him a He's winning cool, season, bro. and all of this shit is out the window. They won last year. But they feel that's the reason why they feel like they they feel like he's not as dedicated to the organization as they feel. Who was he gonna throw to? Hopkins was injured. Exactly. You're right. So like that's not on him. But you know who they're gonna blame. The quarterback, oh the quarterback and the coach right. get the blame and the, and they get the um the credit when this is sex. When, um, I'm Tyler, I'm, I turn it up enough for this year. You know what I'm saying? Start trying to progress, get that contract. If you're going to try to get that contract, pay or get the fuck up out of there, bro. Listen, man. This, it, definitely, is, this definitely is definitely telling to how your future might be. Yeah, it's... he, And they got to give him weapons, too. Like, you can't just throw a quarterback in a situation and expect them to make chicken salad out of chicken shit. You, you, you can't. Okay, you give me uh DeMar uh DeAndre Hopkins, you give me him back. We cook food one year, but what happens the next year? He misses half the year. You I can't make something out of nothing. Like you gotta cut old boy some slack. 